morning. We are out here for day 15 of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship by 3x. So I have been getting a few messages from you all, the people who have been following this journey for the past uh, 15 days now. And a few of you have written in to me and basically let me know that you still feeling uncomfortable. You are feeling a bit challenged by this. Hey Rosie, I see you, thanks for watching, that you're feeling a bit challenged by this actual challenge, but um, you want your relationship to improve and we're going back and forth and I didn't even want to come out here and talk about this topic today. I had a different topic in mind, but I know that I need to come out here and talk about this specific topic today, which is to learn how to be uncomfortable. So here's the reason why you need to learn to be uncomfortable is because it took you a while, it took you a minute as we like to say in the slang it took you a while to get to the point that you're at in your relationship you're here because you want to improve your relationship and the reason why you need to need to and want to improve your relationship is because things are not going the way that you want them to go the way that you know that they should be going the way that you deserve them to go and so because of that this is why you're here you're starting to do the work you're starting to implement some of the things that I have suggested and it all boils down to you being uncomfortable right now because you are doing the work. You are taking the actions. You're starting to have these tough conversations with your spouse. Or you're very fearful of not having these conversations. And so you're having this tug of war, this inner tug of war with yourself. You really, really, really want to have this conversation. But you're scared to do it. And so you have to learn to be uncomfortable in your relationship in order to get that blissful, happy-go-lucky relationship where there are multiple people that are envious of you. And that's not what you're going for, but you want people, we all want to be the highlight in the showcase, at least at some point. It doesn't have to be in every area of your life, but maybe your relationship is an area where you really want to help other people. You really want to be that guiding light. You really want to um, showcase yourself in a positive light. So when people come to you, they can ask you particular questions and you'll be able to help them along the way. Help them create their own love story because you are actively creating your own as well. And so some of the things that's actually happening with you, or I should say another thing that's happening with you is your fight or flight response is kicking in. <laughs> and so you, you want to do it, but you're like, no, I need to retreat. And so again, that's that inner tug of war that's going on with you. And another thing that's actually going on, which I already mentioned, which is your fear. Your fear is starting to arise. And when your fear arises, guess what you need to do, sis? Guess what you need to do, bruh? You need to do the very thing that is harmful that is fearful well not harmful excuse me that is fearful to you in that moment in this case going to have that tough conversation putting yourself out there the thing that is um, really holding some of us back from having these tough conversations is the vulnerability part is the if I say this how are they gonna look at me it is the judgment portion of it it is the okay, this is what's happening with me. I don't know how they're gonna receive it. So there's that uncertainty. Are they gonna receive it well? Are they gonna make jokes about what you have to say? Are they gonna take it as serious as you feel that it is serious to you? Are they gonna to wanna to work on this relationship? Are they gonna work on, wanna work on this relationship with you? Are they actively going to start doing the things that they should be doing, which is working on the relationship, making sure that you're having a tough conversation, making sure that you guys are conversing with one another. Hey, Dakeisha, I see you. Hey, honey, hey, 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 hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So that's some of the things that is actually happening with you. And so that fear is arising. So when the fear arises, you need to do that very thing that you don't, that you do not want to do. Again, in this case, is to have that tough conversation. Another thing is that you need to learn to be, and I just want to put it out here, just make sure that I'm saying it, because I already said it, right? Learn to be and embrace your vulnerability. Hey, Barbie, I see you. Welcome. Learn to be and embrace your vulnerability. I'm going to say it one more time. Learn to be and embrace your vulnerability. Learn to embrace the uncomfortable portions of you why you are in your relationship because this is the only way that our relationships are going to reach that next level relationships are about growth 
this uncomfortable feeling that's happening with you is all about growth. You cannot expect to have this blissful relationship if you are not ready to just say, oh, I am so scared. I really need to go have this conversation with him. I need to go have this conversation with her. I'm really fearful of it, but guess what? I need to go have this conversation and then go have the conversation. Don't be all up in here because all up in here, that's going to stop you. That's going to stop you from having that conversation because then you're going to be thinking about how, again, how is he going to receive it or how is she going to receive it? Or is she, is she or he going to make fun of me? Are they going to take me seriously enough? Takesha says, must be with the person that you actually feel safe with to be vulnerable with. You are absolutely right. However, some of the people, what I was mentioning before, I don't know how long you've been watching, but some of the people that's been writing in to me, they are not even taking that first step. They don't know. Well, I guess I guess they do know if they could be safe with the person because you there have been other instances. So let me take that back. You're right. You're right. They have to feel safe with that person. But if you don't feel safe with that person, I can't tell you what to do, but you need to start thinking about some differences. Differences could be getting out of that very relationship. And I don't even like to preach that. Hey, George, I see you. I don't even like to preach, you know, getting out of your relationship, walking away from your relationship, because that's actually the easy thing to do. Walking away is the easy thing to do. Now, if you are in an abusive situation, then that's something different. Abusive could be verbal, could be mental, it could be physical any type of abuse I do not condone that so now if that is actually going on that's something else but most people want to walk away because it's the easy thing to do they don't really want to do the work as much as we say that we want this beautiful blissful relationship we're not willing to do the work and so when we're not willing to do the work how do we expect to get to the next level how do we expect to get to the next level hey Pancho, I see you how do we expect to get to the next level if we're not willing to do the work, if we're not willing to put in the time and energy, if we are not willing to be vulnerable with the very person that we say that we love, with the very person that we are actually trying to grow with in our relationships, the very person that we're having all of these kids with, the very person that's supposed to be sharing our life with us. If you're not willing to be uncomfortable and be vulnerable with them, then who are you being vulnerable and uncomfortable with? The stranger? The stranger can't help you. Your sister, your sister can't help you. Your brother, your brother can't help you. Only person that can help you is the person that is in your bed at night. Or maybe y'all not married, maybe y'all not living together, so maybe they're across the room, or I'm, excuse me, across, across the street, or across the highway, or whatever. But that's the only person that can help you. I said this before, you can go and talk to so many people out here, get so many opinions about your relationship. Nobody can help you in your relationship but your, you and your boo. Both of you have to be willing to put in the work. Both of you have to be willing to put in the time. Both of you have to be willing, period. Takesha says, it's tough. What do you think the percentages are? Uh, wait a minute, I gotta, okay. What, are, what do you think the percentages are of people who just aren't willing to do the work and those who just need to walk away? You know, I don't want to put a percentage on that because I don't know that information. However, I will look it up. I will look that up. But if I had to take a guess, for the people who need to walk away versus the people that just need to do the work, I would say, I would actually say it's more than 50%. I would say it's in between 50 and 75% of the people that just need to walk away. Because most of the time when we get into the relationships, we are choosing the wrong person to get into the relationship with. Lots of times it's because we are not ready ourselves to be in these relationships. And so because we're not really ready to be in the relationship, once again, <laughs> Once again, we're choosing the wrong person. And so when we start to get to this point where we know that we need to start working on ourselves, we're starting to work on ourselves, where we're starting to grow a little bit, and then we try to take this growth mindset to our partners when our partners are not really ready. They're still doing all of the same things that they were doing before. They're still not giving you the respect. They're still not giving you the quality time. It's a, it's a plethora of things that go into that. But lots of times it's because we have chosen the wrong person in the beginning to choose to start our relationship with. But if they are willing, if you go to your partner, have this tough conversation, and they are willing to do the work, and they're willing to do it with you, they're willing to take this serious enough so you guys can decrease that divorce rate or just not break up the relationship, then y'all can do it together. I never, 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 never once said that this 30-day challenge was going to be easy for you. I want to make sure that that's very clear. I never said that this was going to be easy for you. This is a challenge. 
hence the word it's a challenge <laughs> it is a challenge hey crystal i see you thanks for watching this 30-day challenge is a challenge for you to see what you need to work on because we love to point the finger we love to talk about what our spouse is not doing but what are you not doing what are you not doing to make sure to because your relationship is going down here what can you do better to make sure that your relationship starts to go up here in spite of you are trying to be a better person period and if it works out with you and your spouse being better people together then beautiful bravo but sometimes we have to start with ourselves excuse me not even sometimes let me back that up every single time we have to start with ourselves we have to look at ourselves first what are you doing wrong and not not focus on the wrong what are you doing right as well because that's just as important you want to continue to take what you're doing right into the next relationship if this one happens to break up so make your list what am i doing right make your list what am i doing wrong then make your final list the third column what could i be doing better because all of this is going to help your relationship. Every single solitary piece of information is going to help your relationship. Because even if you start to think about what you're not doing right, you can do better in that thing. You can do better at it. Again, relationships are all about growth. All of it. You have to learn to be uncomfortable in your relationship. Because again, this is why this is a challenge. As I, as I mentioned, it's not going to be easy. But if you want it, you'll do something about it. If you want it, you'll be vulnerable. If you want it, you will stay uncomfortable until it starts to get comfortable again. Change is hard, y'all. Change is hard. Being vulnerable is hard. But why are you in that relationship? Why did you choose that person to be in a relationship with if you're not willing to, if you're not willing to be vulnerable? If you're not willing to change and grow? And sometimes changing means that you got to change the entire relationship hey Tamara I see you thanks for watching sometimes changing means changing the entire relationship but until you change yourself until you start to work on yourself instead until you start to grow yourself there's no sense in you changing the relationship because you will be that same person in the next relationship so even if this relationship does not grow hey Alex I see you honey <laughs> Even if this relationship does not work out, you will be a better person for the next relationship. You will be a better person for the next spouse. You will be better for yourself. Change is hard. Being vulnerable is hard. Again, I never once said that this challenge was going to be easy, y'all. But in order to get to that beautiful, blissful relationship, you got to push through the fear. I don't know if most, if most of you guys know who Mel Robbins is, but Mel Robbins has a book, The Five Second Rule. And basically what she says is when you feel, I'm excuse me, she does have that book too, but that's not the book I want to mention. She has a book that's called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Feel, feel the fear and do it anyway. We all feel fear. But the people that make it to the blissful relationships, the people that make it to all of these relationships that we see that we're like, oh, wow, I wish I had that. I wish I was able to hold hands out in public. I wish that we were able to do X, Y, and Z because we're looking at other people's relationships. Listen, you can have that too. But you got to be vulnerable, sis. You got to be vulnerable, bruh. You don't like missing my lives, Tamara? I... <laughs> Thank you, hon. <laughs> you had to go back and watch. That's right. We had to go back. You had to go back and rock. watch. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Dakeisha. Yep. You take you wherever you go. Amen. You do. You do. You take you wherever you go. Even if that sucker, and a sucker could be a man and a woman, a man or a woman, okay? Even if that sucker don't work out, you still traveling with you everywhere you go. All this thoughts, all this stuff that you're carrying around with yourself, good bad happy sad that that goes with you until you start to work on yourself and even when you start to work on yourself guess what that still goes with you but because you're working on yourself you're starting to get the tools to be able to handle these things better to be aware of what's actually happening so you can self-correct in that moment it makes a difference you want your relationship to work you want it to be blissful you're starting to see some of the things that you're doing wrong. You're starting to see some of the things that you're actually bringing to the table and doing right. All of it matters. All of it matters. But you have to be willing to be uncomfortable in your relationship in order for it to grow. 
in order to get to that oh man I, I man my god i really love going home to this person let me tell you about what my husband do let me tell you about what my wife do let me tell you about what my girlfriend do or boyfriend do fiance wherever you at in order to get there you got to be vulnerable and so many of so many of us have never been vulnerable with our spouses with our boyfriends with our partners all of it's surface level and then you wonder why you are sad confused lonely because you've never opened up they don't even know who you are you don't know who you are you don't even trust who you are you don't even like who you are how can they like you how can they trust you what do they really know about you seriously what do they really know about you what do you know about yourself have you taken the time to really write down who you are to self-examine to examine yourself to really really know who you are what you want what you need what you desire from yourself first and then from a relationship because if you don't know that you can never be able to express it to your man to your woman what you need how can they love you if you don't know what you need work on yourself boo work on yourself be uncomfortable be vulnerable oh yes Dakeisha we we Dakeisha says and we gotta learn to protect our mates vulnerability as well yes we do them being vulnerable does not mean when you get mad later on so I got I got mad we didn't get into it my spouse didn't share something with me when, when we were just chilling we was cool everything was going peachy keen and then all of a sudden I'm mad and then I start <laughs> spewing all that hatred towards you and all of those things that's gonna make you feel this big now I'm, now, I'm do, now I'm throwing all of that back in your face why is you doing that that's not sexy and that definitely does not make me feel safe with you so if every time I share something with you you throw it up in my face how many times do you how many more times you think I'm gonna share my sensitive information with you because I don't want to hear it from you how how much closer are you bringing me to you when you do that you're not I can tell you how much closer zero so when that person is starting to shut down when they stop sharing stuff with you then you wonder what what's how, how, how come he ain't telling me nothing no more or how come he haven't shared X Y and Z or how come he didn't tell me that he was doing X Y and Z no more cuz you throwing up all his sensitive information in his face that's why or her face her face I'm a woman so I'm always gonna talk about a man but I get it I'm always talking about both sexes because both of us be doing some raw stuff to each other to one another the very person that we say that we love the very person that we're saying that we're supposed to be respecting we be doing some ugly stuff to our spouse the closest person to us why that doesn't help your relationship it doesn't so let me get back to this let me wrap it all around and say continue to do the work you have to continue to do the work you have to continue to be uncomfortable also this is not just the 30-day challenge <laughs> okay know that you must go beyond what you're learning here this is not just a 30-day challenge this is a life challenge this is a matter and death of you and your relationship it's a life challenge It's not just the 30 day challenge where you get to see reap some of the benefits that are going to come from the 30 day challenge and then you revert back to that same person that scared little girl that scared little boy you have to continue to do the work day in day out and guess what it's only going to get easier because you're recognizing what you need to work on you're going to start working on that stuff you're going to bring your spouse your partner closer to you they are going to see the changes in you and even if they don't initially start to change sis even if they don't initially start to change bruh after a while because you're being consistent video one that i talked about because you're being consistent at some point they're going to switch at some point but you got to do the work first because you're here you're the one who's watching the video you're the one who's getting the information maybe they're never getting the information maybe you could sneak and send them the video i'm just saying but even if you sneak and send them the video are they really ready to start receiving information 
because you can talk to a person to they blue in the face if they're not ready to receive the information it's never going to penetrate they're still never going to show up and be the person that you truly want them to be be uncomfortable know who you're in a relationship with realize that everything will continue to change whether it's good or bad whether it's good bad happy sad man great or phenomenal guess what all of this is a matter of what you are willing to do to get to the other side again the other side might not be with the guy or with the girl that you're currently with the other side maybe you have to dump that zero and get you a hero okay <laughs> but seriously though maybe it might be time to walk away but you have to do the work on you first and then you have to give your spouse your partner a chance to see if they're willing to do the work too you do the work continue to do do your work then give your partner a chance to see if they are willing to do the work too and if they're not it's time to make that hard decision it's time to make the hard decision all right y'all i will see y'all back here for day 16. i had another topic today but because several of you are sending me messages i had to come here and talk to you about being uncomfortable today because this wasn't the topic today but i had to come and do it thank you guys for watching come on back here for day 16 about this time i told you i'm not gonna give y'all exact time but it's about this time all right so i'll see y'all again here tomorrow have a good day